All right, so today we're going to be looking at some manuscript revision. We're going to be looking at some manuscript signs, manuscript um, abbreviations, and we're going to look at some letters, how you format a letter, in particular a business letter. All right, so a quick review in terms of space. When you're looking at typing a document with figures, no space is to be in it. No space between figures. All right? Before and after an apostrophe, no space. Before or after a full stop separating an abbreviation, no space. When do you use one space? When you have a comma, or it should follow a comma. After a semicolon, after full stop that follows initials in a name, like for example, T dot S dot C, right? One space, you put one space after. So you put T dot space, S dot space, C, one space, right? When do you use two spaces? A lot of people don't know this, but this is how it should be. And I myself at times use one space after a full stop, but by right, we should, we're supposed to be using two spaces. So after a full stop, after a colon, after a question mark, after an exclamation sign. So again, when do we use no spaces? All right, how many spaces should we should follow a colon? Two? One. Two. Two. Want to double check? Yeah. See there. Yeah. All right? Full stop. Separating an abbreviation, that is. Two. Two or one? One. 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 Separating an abbreviation. After full stops, um, full stop, two. But after the full stop separating an abbreviation, it's one space. Oh. All right? Oh, oh. Yes. Okay. Initial. Proceeding a surname, for example. Oh. How many spaces? Oh. All right. One space. Good. Comma in a figure. One. None. Oh. No space in oh. figures. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ah, right? No space in figures. Exclamation mark. Oh. Two, I see answer there. <laughs> so it's two spaces. So A for one colon. How many spaces for colon? After colon? Two. Two. After full stop separating an abbreviation? One. one. Initial of name preceding a surname? One. And a comma in figure? One. None. Exclamation mark? Two. All right. Full stop? Two. two. Right. It up there. Good. All right. So we're going to look at a block style business letter. All right. So where you see TS, it means triple space, meaning three spaces after, and it means you press the enter key three times. Am I correct? Yes. DS, what do you think DS means? Double, Double space, so you press the enter key twice. SS, single Three space. Days. All right. Good, so let me just go back up a little bit. Right, so when you have a business letter in block style, you know all of the information is to the left margin. All the information is to the left margin. There's no indentation whatsoever where a block style document in general is concerned. Good? All right. So you'll have your return address. Sometimes it's in a letterhead form. Sometimes it's just typed generally. And after that, you will have three spaces. TS means three spaces. After your three spaces, you will have your reference. After the reference, you will have either two spaces or three spaces. You are not wrong if you use two spaces. You are not wrong if you use three spaces. Any of them can work after the reference. Either two spaces or three spaces. 
that would be followed by your date. After your date, you will have the same thing, either two spaces or three spaces. Good? That would be followed by your address notation, which is your confidential, urgent, personal, whoever it is being addressed to, right? Two spaces or three spaces should follow that. Then you will have your inside name and address, which should be single spaced, of course. But you know, letters are not typed in double space unless they tell you to. But otherwise, it is typed in single space. Good. Followed by two spaces. Then you will have your attention line, which is dear sir, whoever. And then you'll have, no, the salutation is dear sir, whoever. But after your attention line and your salutation line, you will have two spaces, right? Then you will have the body of your letter. And that again, SS means it is to be in single space. After your body, you'll have two spaces, DS, right? Then you'll have your complementary close and only one space after that. SS, single space. Then you'll have the name of the company, and then after the name of the company, either four to six spaces. They can have four, five, or six spaces after. Follow? Following? Mm -hmm. Then you will have the name of the signatory. So whoever is sending the letter, name will go there, followed by one space. Then the position, maybe it's the manager, whatever position the person holds will go there. And after that, you will have two spaces. Good. After that, you will have the typist initial, whoever is writing, and you'll have uh, the, the, the signature of whoever is writing the letter. And you'll have three spaces, and of course, that is to give them enough space to put their signature. Good? After that, you'll have the enclosure, or the attachment, NC, ATT, those are the abbreviations for them. And you'll have two spaces, and you, whoever your CC in the document to. Good? All right, not all letters have all of those in it. And I'm going to show you one that shows you in red the, 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 the elements of a letter that you won't find in all letters. Like the reference, not every letter comes with a reference. Are you following? Yes. So those that you see in red indicates some letters that will not have those elements in it. All right? Yes. Good. So you have reference, address, notation, attention line, name of company, typist initial, and enclosure. Right? So depending on the type of letter, you may not have this in it. If it's a friendly letter, you definitely don't need some of these things. Are you following? Good. All right. So this is basically a summary of the parts of a business letter so you must have your date you know that for sure you must have your date you must have your inside name and address whoever you're sending it to and your salutation your sir madame or if you know the person's name you put there whoever the body of the letter who the letter is coming from which is where you have your, your signature your sincerely sorry and then the person's name all right good this will be on the YouTube website. So, of course, when you are going back to your revision, you can always go back to the website and do this. As I'm recording this, so post on the website. All right, some commonly used manuscript signs, and these are often used in EDPM. If you go through the past papers, you will see many times they repeat these. These are the most common used ones. And um, I must um, give credit to TVJ Schools Not Out because they did some EDPM sessions while COVID was up and running, let me put it that way. And I watched, I screenshotted some of their things and I created my own from it. So I must give credit to them. So not everything here is mine. Some of it I use from their session. And I think it was very good. And I sent it in my group. I'm going to send it to Pina for her to post it in your group as well. All right. Is it big enough? Yeah. 
Can you see? All right, so the abbreviation ampersand or the plus sign. Once you see that, it means and. Everybody know the ampersand means and, right? But the plus sign also means and. A slash C, that's another common one. And you know what that means? Account. C, D, W, D, S, D, could, would, should. S, D is one way of saying should. Sometimes they use S, H, D. Anyone can be used. S, D or S, H, D, the same thing is used for should. D, E, P, T, everybody know what that means? Department. Dear sir, well, dear means dear. E A each info that's another common one information. M G M T that means management. S T street. W D was repeated, but W D means wood, as we said earlier. Y means you. Y R means your. Y R S means yours. FFLY or FFY, sorry, means faithfully. W means with. W slash O means without. ASAP, that's a very common one, and it means as soon as possible. BLDG means building. MKT, market. TH has several meanings. It can be the, this, or that. And depending on the context in which it is used, you will know which one it would be. All right? B, pretty easy to remember. B means B. <laughs> right? NEC apostrophe Y means necessary. WH has several meanings as well. It means which, what, or when. CC means either complementary clause or carbon copy. Again, it depends on the context in which it is used. It is used, you will know if it is carbon copy or complementary clause. Para, paragraph, once it's in once you see the S in the bracket, it means more than one, right? MK, make, capital P, capital S, post script. M means may, SLS means single line spacing that I see a lot in, in the past paper when I was going through. SLS. Single line spacing, DLS, double line spacing, TLS, triple line spacing. Right? All right. So, this is a review question session from their school's not out session. I'm going to quiz you and see how much you remember. Some of them are not, we didn't go through, but I hope you can figure it out or maybe remember from what you've learned. ABT. Oh, about oh, let's see answer them. <laughs> All right, P um, A S A P as soon as possible. F you might not know that one. It's four, four. Yes, F F L Y faithfully. A C S H D ah T M P ah uh ah -uh. temporary. Temporary. <laughs> All right. G and T E E. Ah. T H. D. This or that. Y R S. Yours. Brilliant. Years or yours. Yes. All right. So there you would have had your answers. Good.